All right, so um, what are we going to do tonight? Tonight we are going to do a couple of laps with uh, the um, with the uh, Aston Martin that we used uh, on uh, on the Kielami race uh, last uh, last Friday with Davide, uh, and uh, we are going to do a couple of laps with this car so that I can remind you and show you the kind of performance that we can achieve with this car in full race setup, as usual. Uh, if I remember, I was lapping at around 1 minute and 42, 1 flat, 1 minute 41 high, something like that. So tonight we'll you know, try 5 or 10 laps and see if we can you know, shoot uh, 1 minute and 42 low right away. And then we, we won't waste much time. I will just want to tell you some of the characteristics of the car. And then we are going to switch to one car after another. For tonight, I would like to try the Audi GT3 Evo. Let's go and see if we can do a better one. A little bit better exit here. Trying to bring as much speed inside the turn as possible. In fact, I'm gaining again. Keep on my feet of the accelerator. Brake deep again. Rotate the car a little bit on the brakes. That wasn't so good. Tiny bit of braking and on the accelerator again and out rotate the car with the accelerator a little bit and exit the sun is coming up Bring the speed inside the turn and soon on the accelerator as soon as possible. Oof, oof, oof. Such a tricky turn here. Accelerator again. You see how fast I'm going on the accelerator, and that's a pretty nice lap. 41.4 for uh, 94 liters of fuel. That's a very nice. Uh, lab to do uh, so Bentley uh, look at that this is massive massive car massive car so again the Bentley is another car that has the engine uh, pretty much here so mid front engine and transaxle transaxle again means that the uh, gearbox is not here okay but it is at the back around here so that moves the whole uh, balance the weight balance of the car to to the rear and makes again another car that has around 50% at the front and 50% at the rear. Now the difference, the big difference of this car uh, with the Aston is that it's much longer. It has one of the longest wheelbases. Wheelbase is the uh, the distance of uh, the front of the wheel to the rear wheel. Okay. So the wheelbase is one of the of the longest. I think it is three meters, almost 200, two hundred two two meters and ninety something. So it's really really very very long. Uh, what that means? It means that the car is a little bit less agile, so it doesn't want to rotate so much. Again, we are talking about a car with hammer time with the front engine here, so it wants to change you know direction with a bit of force, uh, and it has a little bit of you know less traction of the rear but every time that you know the rear goes out of, of shape like this the car usually wants to you know go back straight like that you see that the car wants to go back straight if you're traveling like this the car wants to go back straight so uh, i remind you again the audi is like this the engine is at the, at the rear mid engine rear so every time that you lose a little bit of traction or grip at the rear lateral grip then the car simply wants to, you know, completely rotate and spin. So this is the exact opposite. And it is also, as I said, very, very long. 
less ag agility but much more stability which on long races this car really comes out as one of the best to drive it you can really trust it and it's really really good to to drive for long races let's go in and start some laps now obviously the biggest difference with the bentley is that it is of course uh right hand uh driven so sorry again you have to you know customize yourself in order to you know to understand that okay uh you have lots of uh, of car at the left at your left side uh, this is another uh, twin turbo engine, very nice engine, V8, S slight turbo lag, not too much. And uh, because the, the car has uh, so much big front area, uh, obviously it has more drag. And because it has, because it has more drag, uh, it has a higher power than the other cars, higher maximum power. Uh, but again, uh, it all equal equalizes out because of the higher drag at the end the car makes the same top speed more or less as the other cars that's how the BOP works practically so you can see here how much the car wants to go straight and it's not so agile but so much safer already you can already see that you know I'm, I'm driving really bad but the car doesn't do anything wrong of course, it, it wants to slide out even more than the uh, Aston because it's longer, so it's less agile. But that means that you know you can you can go on the car with much more. violence and uh, the car will will help you you know it doesn't want to bite back but as you can see I'm suffering a little bit of uh, power oversteer it's very gradual very nice easily controlled but that doesn't mean that you don't lose time so let's see here again okay braking oh you can see how the, the rear end goes to rotate again rotation power oversteer and less agility so I have that means that my driving has to change now before with the Audi I had to be very careful you know how to drive the car I had to be very very smooth with my uh, inputs and very fast to correct uh, with this car, I have to turn in a little bit sooner because the car needs more time to turn in. And then I have to be careful to not let the car spin the wheels way too much because otherwise I'm going to have lots of power oversteer and that means it's not hard to control because the car is easy and safe but it means that I'm, I'm losing lots of time because in the meantime, you know, the, the tires are spinning and uh, the traction control is working uh, and the gauges and obviously I'm not moving forward. So let's see what we can do. You have to sing Tante Aguri ACC, <laughs> all right. Okay, so to the garage and let's check our pressures, which are very, very low. So let's go up to 27 point something here. Something like that. And uh, 27.4. Right. And this is again very low. So 27.26. Like that. And... 27 point yeah something like this okay so this is the situation now I would also like some extra traction uh, but I also have some understeer so let's try first as it is and then we'll see what we can do 
It really is a long car. Very long car. It, it has advantages and disadvantages as all the other cars. Uh, the main disadvantage is obviously lack of agility. Doesn't want to change direction so easy. The big advantage is that you can go over curbs and uh, almost nothing happens. Uh, some extra grip here. Have to be careful with your accelerator application because otherwise the rear end starts to slide around and you're losing time. Getting faster. Uh, I have to catch it before it starts sliding. That's it. Come on, turn. Turn. Change direction. You can do it. The traction control is good, but not so advanced as the Aston Martin one. Yeah, now we're talking. Whoa. <laughs> Practically nothing happened from going outside the curb there. So much stability. All right, so we are already in 41,946. All right, so let's go in. Nice. Uh, before I return to the guard. So the, the, the pressures were not bad. Yeah, pressures were good. So, here's the situation. I would like some extra mechanical grip out of the slow turns. Okay? So, possibly, possibly, I could lower by a couple of clicks, one, two, three clicks, the rear... Uh, wheel rate okay uh possibly i could lower a little bit the uh the the dampers but that's maybe another time but i know that by lowering the rear wheel rate to gain some traction i will also gain some um, understeer especially at the uh fast turns so what i could do is that I could raise by one click or two, we'll see, uh, the rear right head. So what I've done right now is some extra mechanical grip at the slow speed, turns up pretty much everywhere, some extra mechanical traction, traction, okay, uh, and uh, some extra front aero bias. The front aero bias will help me point the car, especially at mid to high uh, speed turns. Uh, I could also maybe lower a click or two the preload differential and see if I can get some extra, uh, you know, stability um, out of the turns uh, without losing too much from, you know, from, from wheel speed. So, let's see what we've managed. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Try to switch it on and off again. <laughs> oh, come on, come on. Why am I reading? Guys, don't let me read the chat when I'm driving the most, you know, difficult turn of, of, the, of the circuit <laughs> every time. <laughs> uh, okay, so um, the car is a little bit slow, it seemed to me. Uh, but I'm not so sure about that. Let, let me give it some extra front. So one click of extra front. Uh, and uh, let's go. Let's go. Okay, let, let, me, let me concentrate a little bit. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. I'm embarrassing myself. Come on. Uh, 
But I'm slower. Doesn't like it. Yeah, bro, it's too soft now. Doesn't like it. No, it doesn't like this kind of setup. So it doesn't really work. That's interesting. The car is safe, it's nice to, to drive, but nah, it doesn't really make the lap time. Doesn't mean it really make the lap time. So uh, I will try to find a compromise. We were at 150 before here. But let's go up to 140, maybe. Um, yeah, something like that. Uh, so I don't know, maybe we should go back to 70 here and you know, gain some traction out of the corners and see what we can do. Okay, so let's let's try again. Let's try again. But for sure the car doesn't do lap times here as easy as the as the Audi. It's much easier uh, than the Audi. Uh, much much easier than the Audi. It's easier even than the Aston probably. But uh, not so fast. Also, probably I'm not yet so used to the right hand driving. Could that be also in terms of precision of where I want to place the car? Ooh, some understeer here for the first time. Oh, I have to break sooner there. I might be needing some rear end brake balance. Whoa! So let me go back by 65 and see if that's better. It seems that I can rotate a little bit the car on the brakes, which is always handy with this long car. Yeah, much, much easier here. I think I have a better turn in with uh, some extra rearwards brake bias. Okay, 41.78784. <laughs> Sebastian. Thank you, Dave. Really appreciate it. <laughs> All right, so. Um, that wasn't bad. If only I could eliminate just a hint of that over rotation and gain some traction. How can I do this? So. So let's try to put this to 12, okay, and this to 20, and try again. I also want some extra rebound at the front. So this, hopefully, those changes will make the rear on, under transition to give me some extra traction. Right, so let's go back, do a couple of laps more, and see if we can bring it down to 41.5. Yeah, yeah, the car is better. Yeah. But also, lots of car at my left. I have to remember this. <laughs> All right, let's see. Nice, nice. Stable. I like it. Very 
very cool. Oh -ho. So, so. Could have done better. Hmm. Also could have done better. Nice. Nice, that's a much better setup. Nice, 41.56. I think we'll call it a day. And uh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Nice. All right, so let's see the replay and save it so that you can also check the replay afterwards, guys. So last lap here. Once again, let's go in. And this time you will see. So the car has a lot of has a high a tiny bit higher top speed needs some space to to break so you need to break a little bit sooner much better traction you see much better traction here i'm already at flat out on the accelerator good rotation nice rotation and already flat out again on the accelerator very nice It's very, very stable around this very, very fast uh, right-hander. So much stability. Brake, rotation with the brake bias a little bit backwards. I could have done better here. Also here, I to be too afraid. Could have go and turn direction a bit faster. I had to telegraph two times. I've missed a little bit the apex here, you can see tiny little bit again could have been better in my line to rotate the car sooner and another miss of the apex here you see a little bit too wide but good acceleration very aggressive here you see I can trust the car very very aggressive braking into the turn, nice line, acceleration, not too much rotation, pretty good, pretty, st pretty good stability and traction, and another lap in 141.5, 141 mid, so pretty good, pretty decent lap, uh, and a car that I can, you know, trust much more.